back to my channel. My name is Charmaine and I'm going to be using the Yoma Beauty Black Magic Carnival Palette today to do an eyeshadow look. And this is what she looks like on the inside. I don't know what colors I'm using. I think I'm going to, what I'm thinking so far anyway is that I'm gonna try this color, this, maybe this. So I think I'm gonna just stick over here is what I'm thinking, but I don't know for sure. New background up finally. My favorite background is that city view with, uh, it's a night city view, and so I like having that one up for some reason, even though I'm getting ready early in the morning. I like it to look like nighttime when I'm getting ready to feel like I'm going out and not to work, so. We're gonna jump into this look. I don't think that I'm going to do the rest of my face on camera just because, you know, watching my analytics, people don't always pay attention and stick around to that part. So I've just been doing my eyeshadow. At some point, I'll do a full face again, but I'm just trying to keep most of my looks just my eyeshadow portion, and then that way the videos are much quicker. So let's see. Well, I'm gonna go in with, I'm just gonna go with this. Your, your Oruro, Oruro, O-R-U-R-O. Oruro. I don't know. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I do not like saying things wrong. Okay, I already had my eyes prepped and I already have tape on, so... Sometimes it's hard trying to get the tape to align on both sides, but I think I have them like in the same space so that my eyes won't look all lopsided. We'll find out. So I'm just taking that color and just blending it in. Let me know if you recognize where my background is from down in the comments. I'm not gonna even tell you. Just comment down below if you recognize what it is. So, let me go ahead and move out the way. You recognize that? You should. Okay, now I'm taking Rio. And I'm just so these looks like are real legit get ready with me's because I don't really know the look I'm going for. I just grab a palette and come up with something as I'm using it because I'm getting ready for work. So I am wearing like it's like a burgundy I'm wearing a burgundy skirt a white shirt and then the skirt has a matching jacket that's what I'm wearing today I work from home so I'm not putting any shoes on anything but if I were gonna put shoes on I don't even know I'm just glad I don't have to wear shoes because that's just a whole nother thing trying to figure out that piece This palette has a mirror in it. I know I'm like talking to today, but this palette has a mirror in it, but I'm not using it because every time I try to use the mirror while I'm filming, I end up covering up half my face and not realizing it until I'm going back and like editing it. So we can't do that anymore because I don't know how to act. I'm just building up Rio. and kind of bringing that forward. Okay, and I really wanna use this glitter, but I can't remember if this glitter seems like more of a topper 
or if it's going to be like extremely pigmented so okay that looks like that that's the color that i've been thinking about using there's another color and this is called tenerife tenerife and then i'm gonna try barangia i don't know i think i'm saying all this wrong um there's that one i don't think i'm using that because i think that one looks like the matte shade um let me try this is bahia it's like a gold i don't really want to put gold on my eyelids today Here's this one, this greenish olive color. This is Trinidad, and then here's Mardi Gras, which is purple. It looks like that. Let me just, I feel like I might end up having to cut my crease, but I'm not done putting colors in my, I'm gonna put this Notting Hill. Maybe I'll attempt to use all these colors again. Notting Hill in the, uh, I have a few of my last looks where I pretty much use all the colors in the palette. So Notting Hill, I'm just taking in the front to blend in Rio. While I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking, should I cut my crease or should I just throw the colors on? and see how they work without giving them like an extra boost. Okay, so I wanna kinda blend out here. So this looks like a, it just, just feels like really harsh. So I kinda wanna blend that out. Let's take Barbados. And just go on the outer edge and blend. <laughs> Also needing like more shows to watch on Netflix and Hulu because I'm just going through stuff too quick so I started watching Nikita now so I'm on season two of Nikita and I just finished watching a show called Rome don't watch that um, I just felt like that show was too much they were showing a lot of stuff I did not want to see so don't watch Rome um, what else? I watched all of the Narcos. I think there's supposed to be more coming out, so I'm waiting on that. That was a good show. I watched The Musketeers. That was a good show. Went too quick. I get so invested in these people in these shows that when they're gone, or when they end, I just don't know what to do with my life. So, I don't know what I'm gonna be watching after Nikita. And for Nikita, I actually, that's on the CW. I kind of get bored sometimes watching that, so I don't watch that like every day. But like if I don't have anything else that I can find to watch, I'm like, let me just go ahead and watch Nikita and finish that. So I need some show recommendations. Comment that down below if you have any. Okay, so this is like a nice color. And it's showing up so I did the same trick that I did for my last video so go watch that if you haven't seen it um, and I used a damp wipe and just wash the brush off or clean the brush the brush off on it and it dampens it up and then also it helps with like picking up the shimmer shade since I would wet the brush anyway to be able to do this so Making sure I don't cover up my face. Okay, and then let's try with our finger. See if that does anything. These are like nice palettes. I think that it was like $40. Um, this was one of the palettes that I bought for my birthday. So, what else should I put? I feel like I should put more. Let me add 
Barranquilla here. Or maybe it's bar Barranquilla. Quilla? I don't know. Barranquilla sounds better. So we're just going to call it that. We're just going to put this here. And I first like drag it on a little bit, but then I'll start to pat it so that they blend in. So I'll bring the darker color that I just put on, what idea, and I'll pat it forward. I kind of feel like I want to add green or purple now. Maybe I'll do my inner corner. So I'm still going to do my inner corner and maybe we'll throw some color there. Okay, and then I want to, on my outer, like to deepen this up here, I'm gonna use Mazatlan, Mazatlan, I don't know. This is a type of palette that probably didn't, doesn't need any color names. I can't say none of this stuff. Well, I could. There's a few stuff that I recognize here, but there's a lot of ones I don't. Gotta do your research. Usually if I don't know how to say something, I'll go on Google and I'll just type in, how do you pronounce? And then whatever it is. Okay, cause you just can't be out there uneducated about stuff and talking. So I might have to start looking this stuff up on Google next time. But I didn't look at the color names when I opened the palette. I was just looking at the colors. Okay, and then I kind of bring it up into my crease to deepen that part up but not all the way also you may have noticed so i didn't do a boxy charm unboxing for february or march so february um wait no for march or april so march they had that venus palette i didn't get that i didn't get any palettes in mine and i get the premium box and the base box. I got a bunch of skincare again. So I was like, I'm not gonna do a video just showing the skincare. But I did go to TJ Maxx, which you'll see like a super huge TJ Maxx haul coming up soon because I have like six bags worth of stuff. I went to four different TJ Maxx's and it's actually from March, but I did, I think a huge TJ Maxx haul in February, so I didn't want to put it up too close, so. This is actually my birthday TJ Maxx haul and I found the palette there so spoiler alert I got the palette from TJ Maxx because they did not give it to me in BoxyCharm and then April was kind of the same they gave me I got a palette but it's just not anything I would use so I actually put it in my giveaway drawer because I've been collecting makeup and buying like extra or sometimes when I go to TJ Maxx, I just throw stuff in my cart. I don't always remember what I got. And because I haven't done the haul yet, I'll end up with like multiples of stuff. And so instead of taking it back, I'm just saving it for a giveaway. So I have like a giveaway drawer that I've created at this point of extra makeup that I've collected or just went out purposely bought for when I do a giveaway. So I can start collecting and having like good stuff help y'all build up your eyeshadow collection because I eventually will be doing an eyeshadow collection video showing you every palette that I have. I already did a video showing my vanity uh, makeup collection but I didn't go into detail on anything or like pull too many things out of the drawer so you don't really know exactly what I have but I think I'm going to do an eyeshadow palette collection so that you can kind of see what my collection is. Um, so I'm trying to get that together, but I got to get all my hauls out the way. I still have a profusion haul to do um, that I bought also for my birthday. I bought it at the end of February. And I still, I have another small little Ulta haul because I bought more stuff after my birthday. Um, while I was getting the two times of points for that month, which was March, I went back and bought some more stuff at the end of March. And then also I went and got some stuff from Sephora recently because they had that sale I actually bought the stuff the week before the sale but the stuff I bought was on sale anyway um, so I have that coming up I'm gonna go ahead do my eyeliner and mascara off camera and then 
also just put on the rest of my face and come right back all right i'm back i went ahead finished off the look and i'm going to share with you what i did so on my lower lash line i used rio and then i put in mardi gras over top to kind of make that a little bit purple and then in my waterline i used a ColourPop cream gel liner in piggy bank so this purple color and in my inner corner i actually put trinidad um, but this green just seemed a little bit too dark for the inner corner so over top of that i've used my uh, kvd alchemist holographic transformer this is a face and eye highlighter and this color is teal aquamarine so i found this at tj maxx i really like it i actually went back to see if i can get a couple extra so that way i can have some for a giveaway but they were gone if i see them i'm going to add them but basically this is what the trinidad color looked like yeah it's trinidad and that seemed a little bit dark on my inner corner so i took this color i'll put it next to it so you can see it by itself let me just use my finger i don't know why i just used a brush okay so basically i put that color on top to get the color that's on my eye now or in my inner corner anyway okay and i haven't done my lips yet because i don't know what kind of lip i want to do do i want to do a pink lip like a fuchsia pink lip or do i want to do a nude lip i think i'm going to go with like a fuchsia pink lip so let me go ahead and get my lip liner and some lipstick be right back all right so i've picked the colors that i'm going to use i've never used this combo before so i don't know how it's going to turn out but we're just going to go with it either way so for the lip liner i have my jordana in number eight ruby stone so i'm going to go ahead and line my lips all right had to wipe off my lips first because i had lip gloss on but i'm going to go ahead and line my lip okay lips are lined and then i'm going to take this beauty bay lipstick and this is the color sauce it looks red but we going with it oh that is red that's like a really bright red it looks like super bright on camera but it doesn't look as bright when I'm looking at it in person. And then this is going to look crazy, but I took out my Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. And this is the color One Woman Show because that's what it is over here. So let's go ahead and see what this does. I think I overdid it on the lip gloss, but... I think I'm just gonna go with this. I don't mind this bright, deep red look. It looks, it really looks brighter on the camera than it does in person. So I'm okay with that. I'm treating myself to pizza today because it has been a week. Today is Thursday. You probably won't see this video go up until a Tuesday. So next Tuesday, or maybe even Sunday. I don't know, but you'll see this go up after the fact so let me know what you think down below of this look especially this lip combo do you feel like this is too much for you i like like a bright bold anything so i'm loving the look also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and thanks for watching